All right, quick review of a new Ryobi tool. Obviously, we are becoming more and more Ryobi fans. This is one of the newest things we just picked up at Home Depot. Uh, we'll talk more about 18 volt versus 40 volt stuff later. Fully charged battery in the brand new vacuum. You can see it just came out of the box. The most important paperwork is going right back in the box, which will then go right to the dumpster. And the Soli, yeah. First impressions is it seems pretty robust. It's got pretty user-friendly accessibility of the cord and I saw some accessories. Yeah, there's a little nozzle here and a little, maybe it's a brush thing. Can't really tell, does that pop off easy? Yep, my fingers are kind of cold too, so it, that pops off easy. And then like a tackle box. I guess this whole thing kind of reminds me of a tackle box. It's got latches on the side, like a tackle box, and the whole thing just comes off and all the electric stuff must be internal. I wonder how waterproof this is, having more or less a rain trough right in the middle. And it is raining on us right now but I would assume that's never gonna look that clean again. Um, yeah, let's give this a whirl. The truck we're gonna test it on, it's pretty dirty. So battery in. Well, it works, here we go. I will film. Let's see what we got. Actually, I'll go around the other side so we can watch. Now, most cordless vacuums are kind of weak. So yeah, that's it. All right, that's pretty good. First impression. It's got the nozzle on there. Try some heavier crap like this down here. You jam up the nozzle. Okay, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I'm impressed so far. Let's see if the... Yeah, that already sucked a quarter of the battery down. That's what I figured is going to be a battery hog. This is not going to be a go clean out 30 trucks tool. This is going to be a quickie thing. Yeah, it already sucked half the battery down. That's where I can say the 40 volt system. It's probably gonna shine. I've got the 40 volt wet dry vac up in the up in the stash of Ryobi things. Oh, now it says three quarters still. Push it again. I'll push it. Now it says full again. I don't know. So that was like two minutes. We'll see how long this really lasts overall. I won't change that battery. I'll just keep using it till it's dead and try, try to guesstimate. Hold on, there's some little split rings here from a Rapala. Might as well save those. Shotgun shells. See, let's let's try the power. Let's see if it can suck this shotgun shell and just hold it in place. Like not, it's not gonna suck it in the tube. Put the nozzle back on. That's freaking phenomenal. Let's see if you can pick it up again. Yeah. That's good. I like that. All right, let's let's look inside the let's look inside the box again. Your phone's all wrapped up there. Let's look inside the box and see how dirty that became in two minutes. I think you, you got to push it down first. Nope. Oh, this way goes in there, and then the straps in here. Let's see. Tackle box latches. Oh yeah, that's what I expected. This this thing is gonna be dirty. That filter's already dirty. It's not a Dyson, but we know that. These tackle box latches, I was gonna say though, these are more robust than just about any tackle box. So yeah, I'm gonna say first review, as long as the electric electrical system that's powering this stands up to normal Ryobi durability, I would say that is a buy. I don't remember what we paid for this, but for the convenient ability to just have a little vacuum wherever you want it to go. I would say that is a buy. Um, I got it for the boat, but we're testing it here in the truck. Under 10 out.